हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू इन लेक्चर नंबर फोर्टी फाइव ऑन बेजिक स्टेटिस्टिक्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस दिस क्वेश्चन अबाउट रिग्रेशन विच वॉज आस्ट इन जी टी समर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन एग्जाम इन पार्सियली डिस्ट्रॉयड लेबोरेटरी रेकॉर्ड ऑफ एन एनालिसिस ऑफ को रिलेशन डेटा द फॉलोइंग रिजल्ट आर एलिजिबल वेरियंस ऑफ एक्स इज सिग्मा एक्स स्क्वायर इक्वल टू नाइन टू लाइन्स ऑफ रिग्रेशंस आर एट एक्स माइनस टेन वाई प्लस सिक्सटी सिक्स इक्वल टू जीरो एंड फोर्टी एक्स माइनस एटीन वाई इक्वल टू टू वन फोर फ्रॉम द एब ऑप्टेन मीन वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्स एंड वाई स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन ऑफ वाई एंड को रिलेशन को ऑफिशेंट सो हियर वी आर गिवन वेरियंस ऑफ एक्स दैट इज स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन ऑफ एक्स इज square root of 9 which is 3 we are given two regression lines line of y on x and x on y and we have to obtain mean values of x and y that is we have to obtain x bar y bar standard deviation of y and correlation coefficient so first we find out mean values of x and y that is x bar and y bar and for that we use the fact that both the regression lines pass through the point x bar y bar we know that regression lines so first we write that we know that regression lines both the regression lines pass through point x bar comma y bar so therefore we can write down 8x bar minus 10y bar plus 66 equal to 0 therefore 8x bar minus 10y bar plus 66 equal to 0 we substitute x equal to x bar and y equal to y bar and here coefficients are 8 minus 10 and 66 similarly we replace x and y by x bar and y bar and we have 40 x bar minus 18 y bar equal to 214 40 40 x bar minus 18 y bar equal to 214 This is on the right hand side. So we have to solve these two equations to obtain x bar and y bar. Before that, we can cancel out two which is present in each term. So this we can rewrite as four x bar minus five y bar plus thirty three equal to zero. That I can write as minus thirty three. I consider this on right hand side. Here also we can cancel out two by taking common from each coefficient here. So twenty x bar minus nine y bar equal to two one four divided by two. That is one zero seven. And we can easily solve this using Cramer's rule. For that we first find out the determinant of coefficients of x bar and y bar. first column corresponds to coefficients of x bar that is 420 and the second corresponds to coefficients of y bar which are minus 5 and minus 9 and we can find out value of this determinant 4 into minus 9 that is minus 36 minus minus 100 that is plus 100 and 100 minus 36 that is 64 now determinant corresponding to x bar is denoted by dx bar and that we uh, consider as uh, we replace this first column corresponding to x bar by this constants on the right hand side that is minus 33 107 that we write in place of first column of d minus 33 107 and we keep second column as it is minus 
minus 9 and if we multiply these two uh, we will obtain 297 plus here negative negative will be positive and uh, minus of minus 107 times 5 that is going to be 535 you can check I have done this using scientific calculator and I obtain 832 now for determinant corresponding to y bar we denote it by d suffix y bar and that we write by replacing this second column of d by this constants on the right hand side and we keep first column as it is so d y bar will be 420 and minus 33 107 so first column of d as it is second column of d is replaced by these constants on the right hand side and if we multiply 4 and 107 we obtain 428 here negative negative will be positive and here I obtain plus 660 and this turns out to be 1088 so now by Kramer's rule x bar equal to determinant corresponding to x bar divided by d and y bar is determinant corresponding to y bar divided by d value of d is 64 and d x bar is 832 so here we write 832 divided by 64 here also we have 64 and d y bar is 1088 so this turns out to be 13 and this turns out to be 17. So therefore mean values of x and y are x bar equal to 13. This is mean value of x and y bar equal to 17 that is mean value of y. So this is the answer to the first part obtain mean values of x and y now we try to obtain standard deviation of y that is sigma y and correlation coefficient so for that uh, we recall the fact that whenever we write our line of y on x it will be y equal to a plus bx and the line of x on y is x equal to a plus by here this b is nothing but slope of the line and it is also known as regression coefficient of y on x and it is given by r times standard deviation of y divided by standard deviation of x. In this line b is called regression coefficient of x on y and it is given by r times standard deviation of x divided by standard deviation of y. So first we will write down both the equations of line in this form and then we will find out these two regression coefficients and then we will be able to decide all these uh, r and standard deviation of y. So for that we, we can assume that this first line is the regression line of y on x and this second line is the regression line of x on y. So first we consider that uh, the line of regression of y on x is first line we consider as line of regression of y on x and it is 8x minus 10y plus 66 equal to 0 8x minus 10y plus 66 equal to 0 therefore we will have 10y equal to 8x plus 66 therefore we can write this as y equal to 66 divided by 10 plus 8x divided by 10 so we have written our line in this form y equal to a plus bx so that we can decide what is the regression coefficient so if we compare with this this line 
we compare with this uh, line of regression of y on x then we find that regression coefficient of y on x is b y x equal to 8 divided by 10 therefore now we have the formula for regression coefficient of y on x it is r times standard deviation of y divided by standard deviation of x and here we can cancel out 2 4 into 2 8 and here 5 now we are given the standard deviation of x standard deviation of x was 3 it is already given variance is given variance is 9 therefore standard deviation is 3 so we substitute sigma x equal to 3 therefore r times standard deviation of y divided by 3 equal to 4 divided by 5 because it is given that standard deviation of x is 3 therefore r times standard deviation of y equal to 4 into 3 that is 12 divided by 5 so we obtain this equation we give this equation as number 1 now we use the second line of regression which is given we assume that that line of regression of uh, is given is line of regression of x and y so now the line of regression of x on y is so we come here line of regression of x and y is 40x minus 18y equal to 214 it is 40x minus 18y equal to 214 and uh, we have to write this line in this form x equal to a plus by so for that first we can cancel out 2 which is common here so that we can rewrite as 20x minus 9y equal to 107 we can we divide this equation by 2 and we obtain this and therefore 20x will be equal to 107 plus 9y therefore x will be equal to 107 divided by 20 plus 9y divided by 20 that I can rewrite as 9 by 20y now if I compare this equation x equal to this equation with this equation I obtain that regression coefficient of x and y is 9 by 20 therefore bxy equal to 9 divided by 20 now regression coefficient of x and y is given by r times standard deviation of x divided by standard deviation of y so that we use here 9 by 20 standard deviation of x is 3 so this is going to be 3r divided by standard deviation of y equal to 9 by 20 we are using the given value of standard deviation of x which is 3 we can take this 3 on right hand side and we will have r equal to or if we write one more step this is going to be 3 by 20 so therefore we can write r equal to 3 by 20 times standard deviation of y so we give this number 2 now we can substitute this value of r put value of r from 2 in equation number 1 r is 3 by 20 times standard deviation of y that we substitute here r equal to 3 by 20 times standard deviation of y so r is 3 by 20 times standard deviation of y into standard deviation of y equal to 12 by 5 so we are using equation 2 in equation 1 
सो हियर आई ऑप्टेन दैट स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन ऑफ वाई होल स्क्वायर इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व बाई फाइव आई कंसिडर दिस ऑन राइट हैंड साइड सो आई विल हैव ट्वेंटी डिवाइडेड बाई थ्री सो यू कैन सी हियर आई विल ऑप्टेन थ्री विल कैंसल आउट एंड आई ऑप्टेन दैट वेरियंस ऑफ वाई इज सिक्सटीन सिग्मा स्क्वायर वाई इज सिक्सटीन दर फॉर स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन ऑफ वाई इज फोर एंड वी कैन फाइंड आउट को ऑफिशेंट ऑफ को रिलेशन यूजिंग इक्वेशन टू सो वी सब्सिट्यूट सिग्मा वाई इक्वल टू फोर हियर सो पुट सिग्मा वाई इक्वल टू फोर इन इक्वेशन नंबर टू वी हैव आर इक्वल टू थ्री बाय ट्वेंटी इंटू सिग्मा वाई दैट इज फोर एंड वी कैन कैंसल आउट फोर हियर एंड वी विल ऑप्टेन आर इक्वल टू थ्री बाय फाइव सो देर फॉर को ऑफिशेंट ऑफ को रिलेशन इज थ्री बाय फाइव and the standard deviation of y is 4 and we have obtained this x bar and y bar that is 13 and 17 so this was easy question you just have to remember this two facts that both the regression lines passes through the point x bar y bar and you must be familiar with these two formulas for regression coefficients r equal to sigma y by sigma x and b x y equal to r times sigma x by sigma y so this is all about this session i hope you like it thank you very much